here for. This is probably the one of one of the most serious incidents that we've had uh, in the four and a half years that I've been in this in this current role. So that night we had 500, 400, 500 people gathered there. Um, we think that uh, when a fist fight, which you'll see, uh, began, someone tried to break it up, and they may have tried to break it up by means of shooting a, a firearm in the air. Uh, and when that occurred, uh, everyone that had a firearm on them. Uh, it appears, uh, pulled him out of their pockets. You'll see where one young man is struggling to get his weapon out of his pocket, and you'll see where another young man pulls his out from his waist. Uh, and folks, this is all going on uh, a mile from here in our community, in a proud community that we know that we can change. But it's got to take us off. Again, I wish we had 100 people here, uh, and, and Mr. Brown and Rev. You know, I wish we had some of those people that we talked about last month here. You know, last month we were talking about going home and watching the heat game. And 30 days later we're talking about this. And, and we continuously have the problem of having our community leaders, uh, elected community leaders, attend these meetings. And, and, you know, I'm about sick and tired of it because I get beat up over a budget over a few patrol cars. Uh, and the next thing, you know, they're not showing up at meetings where it matters. I don't care if it's road and bridge, if it's park and recreation, if it's a school board. Hello, the school board. It's kind of important to this meeting, as well as uh, the county commission and the city commissions. Because, ladies and gentlemen, this isn't just a Gifford community problem. We got we got problems all over the county. Uh, and until we have that plan, that's my job uh, to to kind of to kind of force their hand on that. Uh, but that is my job. I want to show you this video. And then I want to uh, uh, talk to you about a, a specific incident. So you hear from me on uh, something that you're going to read about in the newspaper tomorrow. Uh, Tom, can we make this a large print? Uh, I think this is about it. Okay, I did, it changed since I last saw it. Um, this is uh, outside Smith's Grocery. Uh, this is, oh, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, Tom. This is, um, let me back that up. Can everyone see? Mind your wife now. This is a this is an ice box, uh, and there's a cup on top of it. You see the height. Um, this is the door. Um, Tom, does it have the door where they walk up, or is this one we had earlier today? Go back, go back to about now. Know the time. It's about eight twenty-three. Um, so the sun has just gone down. Um, let's go back to about. Uh, can you go back to about eight twenty-two? It starts right here. This is the where it starts. All right, well, let me set the stage for you ahead of time. Um, this crowd uh, was was just mainly just, just party, and then about uh, about eight twenty two, there was a separation between this part of the crowd and that part of the crowd. And two young men came walking up, and as they came walking up, they had two more young men following in behind them. Um, you're going to see some weapons displayed. You're going to see some weapons on the floor, uh, which which is just a, a, a travesty in and of itself. Um, roll up real slow, Tom. Um, maybe you can stop that for a minute. Stop that for a minute. You see, this young man decides he's going to go over there and uh, and strike him. Uh, Tom, is this one of our shooters? Uh, keep keep an eye on this young man here because he's going to uh, display a weapon in a few moments. Now. These two here on this side, we believe, um, came there to settle a score with two young men uh, a little bit behind them, and you'll, you'll see it. Run it for another five seconds. Now they stop here. Now you're going to now you see a situation here where uh, our shooter is backed up, and our shooter is about five foot six, Tom, 145, 150 pounds. Um, you see another young man. Uh, we'll go forward just a few seconds. All right, pause it. Uh, I can't see. I think he's next to the, the bigger gentleman with the white T-shirt and right next to him. Okay, this way. Yes, yes. You're going to see him reach in his pocket. He struggles to get a, a large, a large caliber handgun out of his pocket. Is that gentleman? Sure. No. Okay. Oh, that one. All right. In the meantime, here's another shooter here. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now let's pause it right there. This gentleman here walks up. He came with the group from Fort Pierce. He's walking up. He's got his shirt out. Uh, there's another shooter back here. And what is this? That's a young lady. 
man, that's a young lady that uh, is of interest to a lot. Of now we're stop right there. Now we're now we're doing this rocky stuff, right? We're gonna we're gonna fight. Um, John, what was the other guy? What is this? What what is in his back pocket? And more importantly, wait till you see the size of weapon this other guy pulls out. Just two more seconds. All right, now, now we're going to fight. Now you see the crowd began to back up. Now hold on. This guy, remember, he came with him, so he's not in any boxing mode. He's got a gun on him, so he's not real concerned about a whole lot. All right, a little more. And we stop. Stop. We're fighting. Okay, a little more. Okay, now stop. All right. What's in his hand? A large caliber weapon. That's about a 45. They see something going on. Remember our shooter? Here's our shooter. Watch what he's fixing to do. Two more. Second and a half, Tom. Second and a half. Stop. Stop. All right. He's turning around. John's a, a gun expert, probably a 45. It's a 40 caliber. It's a 40 caliber. Smith and Wesson. Smith and Wesson. Uh, at this point, our round's already gone off. One round's already gone. Now, the guy that was following him, now all of a sudden he's going to turn and go this way. Again? Stop. <laughs> See this? This is a gun. Ladies and gentlemen, we're pointing wildly at a crowd of people that you see have already scattered. This gentleman here, keep an eye on him. Go ahead, Tom. He stands there. I want you to notice something real close. Back that up. Back that up, Tom. Watch these sparks. These sparks. This guy standing there. This this is a gun, by the way, underneath the truck. Here, here's a guy. For whatever reason, it wasn't his death. Uh, <laughs> I think he might have had a little alcohol in him, but that's how he's doing. Now, uh, let's play it all from the beginning. Look, this is this is about three seconds. There's the fight. Boom, boom, boom. No, you didn't. Here we go. Shooter. This is three on three. The, these three guys came together against the guy in the tank top with the white shirt on, the heavy set guy, and the guy who pulls the gun. So this is a three on three. The gentleman in the front with the blue shirt on, the larger gentleman, he's the one that came to settle the beef over the female with the guy in the back with the tank top on. But the guy in the back with the tank top on, the heavy set guy is his brother. So the even out the size thing, he got in front of it because the other guy outsized his brother so much. The muscled up guy with the fancy jeans and the white tank top on to the left of the screen is the guy in the blue shirt's brother. He came along to be a little extra muscle for him. Right. This one and this one. Right, came with the guy in the blue shirt. The guy with the unbuttoned shirt with the uh, stripes on it, he's the gunman for this side. The guy, the guy with the t-shirt on with the design on the front is the gunman for the other side. So they came to fight, but they brought guns with them just in case the fight didn't go the way they planned the fight to go. Go ahead, Tom. He just pulls it out. Same digging. Mm. He's shooting at the door. Boom, 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 boom. That, that gets a little bit dark to see that door. <laughs> this door, he locks this door. Three minutes later, he unlocks it and they're selling beer and wine. Right there at Smith's Grove. Is that a bulldozer? I've got to be careful. Yes, sir. That's right there. That's the door behind. Morning Fishery, right here. Uh, and we can show you, um, you know, 20 minutes of this. Uh, we're going to take a break. And the crowd was just enormous. But as they began to get this boxing stance, a lot of the crowd left. A lot, a lot of the crowd left. I'll tell you one. Stop. Go back and then a so, bit more. I just thought this was interesting too, Sheriff. It kind of goes towards mindset. Stop it, Tom. He's reaching down right now. You see his hand? He's bringing it up across and he kisses it before he grabs his gun. Oh my goodness. 
right there. Yeah, right there. He kissed the crow. Kissed the crow. Now, the, the crowd is really dispersed by now, and uh, now, of course, you know that large cattle are there. You can, you can almost tell when the, when the shots yeah. fired, everybody kind of ducks. Right. 